We have a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News, honoring an outgoing congressman. Tonight, only Eyewitness News was in the nation's capital, where hundreds gathered to pay tribute to Patrick Kennedy. Tonight, he was the guest of honor at an event celebrating his work to champion mental health legislation. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau was at tonight's event, and he joins us now live from Washington, D.C. with more. Walt. The passion, the focus of the night was the Paul Wellstone Addiction and Mental Health Equity Act. It is a passion of Patrick Kennedy on a night of tears and laughter. Even with former comedian Al Franken in the Capitol crowd, Congressman Kennedy cracked the jokes regarding a news conference about the Wellstone Mental Health Act. This is so great, we're finally getting suppressed. But Rosalind Carter was asked about politics. This is Carter said... But with his mother Joan by his side and addiction and mental health issues part of his life, there were no jokes about what he considers a human rights issue. We can see the brain, understand the way it works, and that means that we've got to cover it like every other organ in the body. Between hugs and handshakes and admiration from colleagues like the outgoing Speaker of the House, Kennedy tells us he hears the harsh critics. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, invulnerable to criticism. I feel it just like everybody else. But his potential payback is changing a stigma that he predicts will be supercharged by a startling stat. The fact that suicide rates for our soldiers in existing uniforms surpass those killed in action should be a wake-up call to all of us. Hope still is. The work goes on and the dream shall never die. Outgoing Congressman Kennedy ending the night with a famous quote from his father, the late Edward Kennedy. Mike, Karen? Well, did Congressman Kennedy drop any hints tonight as to what his plans might be once he leaves office? Well, as you know, Karen, he is working on a memoir, a book about his life and also about addiction. And he's also, of course, said that he wants to work somewhere in the mental health and addiction field to champion that cause, much the way his aunt has championed Special Olympics. All right. That's Walt Buteau, live from Washington. Thanks, Walt. Highway to Snooze was also at the...